everyone, my name is Tatiana and welcome to Dancy Food. You're about to watch a video of my memory vlog series. Please note that these videos are a little bit older and some of it might not be accurate anymore. But nonetheless, they're still a lot of fun, so enjoy watching. Good morning everyone, goedemorgen allemaal. So today is uh, a, a slightly sad day because all my friends already left. So now I'm here by myself. I am flying much later today. Um, so I just had breakfast. I am going to get ready quick and pack the rest of my suitcase just so that everything is done. Um, and then when I actually do have to leave, I only have to change into like my uh, the black dress that I'm gonna travel in and you know, just pack some of the tiny few things and you know um, other than that I'm going to uh, the city center like to the streets here and buy some nice things okay so I just packed my whole bag my whole suitcase and um, yes yeah, so and now I'm gonna go in it's 11 now so I have like an hour to go shop because at 12 uh, we have lunch um there's lunch arranged and then i'm leaving towards the airport at 2 30 because it's like two to three hour drive Abby's is obsessed with these kind of things, so I'm gonna definitely get her one. <laughs> okay, so the cutest thing just happened. Um, yeah, so being a miss here in China is a much bigger deal than it is in Netherlands. So um, people really love like miss competition, like beauty pageants. And um, so yeah, so they do ask, they, they keep asking for pictures and all. So I was just looking around in the store and this, the, these two uh, girls were like, can we take a picture please? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then they were like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, like, I, I suppose they said something, oh, I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't take the right picture, can I take another one? So I was like, of course. And then I walked out of the store and they're all super shy here. So she thought I w she thought that I walked the other way. However, I walked like against another door and like, like there's a <laughs> It's so funny because I'm walking around with my camera and they're taking pictures and then as soon as I film them, they get super shy. So yeah, so this girl, she she didn't know that I was walking past the other entrance and she was like sc like screaming and dancing and like, like super happy about the picture and then her friend saw that I saw it and then she gets super shy. That was too cute, like the cutest thing ever. Okay, so I don't really have the time to actually play here, but oh my god, this looks so cool. It's a karaoke machine, so like a karaoke game. And then there's, I think, another one? Yes. Like, I don't have the time because I have only like 30 minutes left and I have a lot to buy, but I want to play so bad. Maybe if, maybe if I have some time after lunch. I'm gonna come here to play some games. They have such cute outfits for little girls. So it is time for lunch. I'm not alone anymore because sweet Iris is with me. <laughs> So we're gonna eat the vegetable egg and tomato soup, so that's gonna be nice. We just went shopping some more and now I'm packing my final things into my suitcases. And then we're gonna go to the airport. Uh, Iris is already waiting downstairs, uh, so I'm gonna 
I think I'm gonna wear my sneakers because I don't think that this is gonna fit in here. So I'm gonna close my suitcases, um, put my sneakers on, uh, and that's it. Yeah, and then I'm ready to go. Then it is bye bye China. So I'm all ready to go. I just want to have a final look at my amazing balcony view. So gorgeous. And uh, yeah, time to go back home. So I don't think that I have fully filmed this lobby because it is amazing. Look at the ceiling. Like how great is that? And then there's this beautiful costume here in Meow Silver. Yeah, I think this is real. I'm not sure, but I think so. And then... I love this pink necklace here so much. Super cute. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, there we go. My suitcases are crying in the way. So it's time to go to the airport. I so hope that my suitcase will stay closed and not pop open. That's like my biggest nightmare. So I'm at the airport and uh, my translator Iris, she is flying around sort of the same time so she's also with me at the airport and I'm so thankful for that because she just helped me out a lot at check-in because I didn't understand anything and it went so much more easy with her around because she could obviously just translate everything and um, so yeah so right now I am gonna see, because I want to have something with a dragon on it, uh, the dragon is my Chinese uh, sign um, in Chinese astrology and I, I, have, I have been looking for something with a dragon on it uh, in Dunje, in Wanda town, Wanda village, but I couldn't really find anything. Um, so I'm gonna look for it here. Right now I'm waiting uh, for Iris because she has to check in her own bags as well. So right now I'm waiting for my flight to um, depart because boarding time is in like, let me see. Because boarding time is in like an hour. Okay, so I found the real food and drinks place. Um, yeah, so I have a little bit of rice with veggies and this drink I really love. It's some kind of tea, I'm not sure. They told me, but I've got to think it was some kind of tea, but it's really good. I'm supposed to uh, board right now, so I walk back to the gate from the lounge. But they're still not boarding and the flight is supposed to leave in like 20 minutes so I'm very afraid that it's gonna be uh, delayed and um, I hope that if it is delayed that I'm still gonna make it in time for my next flight or else I'm gonna have a problem um, yeah so this sucks I'm a little bit annoyed because I've asked like a million people already who work here like if they spoke English or if they knew anything more but no one knows actually so I guess I'll just wait I don't know what to do right now well there's nothing actually that I can do but wait I just hope that my flight is not delayed too much because then I'm gonna have a big problem because then I'm gonna miss my flight in Beijing and then I won't be home in time great so to give you an impression, uh, the 1910 is my flight and it says nothing, just 3 or 4, just nothing else. Like not whether or not it's delayed, when it obviously is because it's still not here. And it says nothing else. Okay, so I just randomly asked people if they spoke English and then there was one man who spoke very, very, very little English. But he was able to translate for me in a very few words what the sign said 
and um, it's he, like he basically said this flight is delayed and uh, it doesn't say anything else uh, you have to wait for an announcement so it can be 10 minutes delayed can be an hour delay can be two days delay I don't know who knows and I'm kind of worried because the flight that was supposed to leave before mine is now uh, estimated to leave in like one and a half hour and I do not hope that mine is gonna leave behind that because then for sure I'm gonna miss my um, connecting flight and I have no idea if I'm gonna be home in time because on Sunday I have uh, I have a, sh a shooting day for my TV show okay so that sweet man who helped me before walked up to me and he was like um, I just wanted to inform you that the airplane has not arrived yet and that's why it's not and that's why we can board. So I think I'm gonna walk back to the lounge because I had internet there. Okay, so I have a tip for you. Um, if you're ever in the same situation as me in a country where you don't speak the language, try to find um, try to find a business class lounge. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's from your airline or not. Preferably, that will be the best because they know the most about their own airline, of course. Um, however, the chances are biggest that someone will be there who speaks English. Um, so I just went to the closest nearby business lounge, uh, not mine because that one is a little bit more farther from my gate and I asked her what was going on and she said that the plane just arrived um, and uh, it should leave shortly uh, however she did not know what is gonna happen if I miss my flight in Beijing so that's gonna be another challenge I'm just happy if I'm on this, this flight and then you know, hopefully I can make it in time to the Netherlands. I don't know, I'm too tired right now also. Okay, so literally an hour after my departure time, it says that the airplane is delayed. So I was like, okay, can I wait in the lounge then? Because then at least I have internet and then probably someone can maybe tell me more because I speak English. And he said, no, you have to wait here because we don't know when, when it's gonna leave. And you might miss this one if you, if you go away. So I'm thinking that maybe I should go back to the lounge and just ask someone there. But it's a far walk. But I don't think I'm gonna get any wiser if I stay here. Oh, this is a disaster. So I am back in the lounge and um, there's one man who's also on the same flight as me, like the same connecting flight. Uh, oh, same, the same flight as me now and the same connecting flight. And um, he is also not a Chinese speaker. But it's impossible. It is impossible right now to... I don't care to put this here. It is impossible to... Um, get, like, to understand anything. I have never ever in my travels before felt so lost and confused as I am right now. Because I don't speak the language. Like, no one here speaks English. Um, and, you know... Okay, so... Here it says at 18.30... 30 and here it says at um, 23.45 so obviously so I finally figured out through uh, Anita who's helping me um, that this one leaves at 10 now so it's like a three hour flight I think um, so if I leave here at 10, I will arrive in Beijing at, uh, at 1. So I'm obviously gonna miss this one then. And then they told me that there's another one at 10, which means that I have to wait in the middle of the night for 9 hours in Beijing. That's horrible. And there was actually a, a, a guy standing next to me, a Chinese man. And he was like, you don't speak Chinese? And I was like, no, of course not. I'm not, I'm not from China. And he was like, 
why don't you speak Chinese but like in a very rude way and I was like excuse me I'm from another country and it is not common for us to speak Chinese um, so you know and then he he was like really offended but, well. I am very thankful that I am able to go into this lounge um, and to charge my phone to have food there's like actual food I think still um, in the other area but like this is nearby and I need to keep a close eye on my phone because uh, maybe they need more information about me so and um, I have enough drinks here so at least I know that my next flight or like the that this flight that I need to take from here to Beijing is leaving in an hour okay so I just ate a little bit of food like normal food like actual food and I uh, I'm feeling a little bit better now Maybe it's just because I'm like all of this plus being really tired because I'm so tired for some reason. I don't think it's still the jet lag or maybe it is, but anyway, I'm super tired. And maybe I was also a little bit hungry. But I think it will be all right. Should be. So I changed to a more comfortable area than the seats. My phone is a little bit charged. So they told me that there's nothing they can do until I arrive in Beijing and then I have to go to the transfer office and hopefully they can help me to get on the right airplane or like another, another airplane so that I can still arrive in the Netherlands on time. Oh, it now says it was in English because first it was only in Chinese, but it doesn't say at what time it leaves. They told me here it would leave at 10, but I don't know. I made it into the airplane. Okay, so they made us wait for hours and hours and hours and it kept being delayed and suddenly the like the woman comes to us and they're like, they're boarding now. And I'm like, oh, okay, they're gonna start boarding now. They're like, no, you have like 10 minutes. I'm like, what? How long have they been boarding? Like, they're gonna start now. So suddenly they were boarding in like 10 minutes. Anyway, doesn't matter. I made it into the airplane. It is time to go to Beijing and in Beijing I will hopefully figure out a flight that will bring me to Amsterdam in time. But the people from the Wanda group were so, they're so nice. Um, they said that I can call them anytime um, to translate it for me. But I think they, they speak more English in Beijing because it's a bigger city. So. Ah, feels nice. So they just announced another delay, um, but luckily this one is only 10 minutes, so you know, that's not too bad. So, what happened? Um, I had a little nap in the airplane, so now life is much better. <sighs> there's, if there's like one thing that makes me really, really cranky, it is not having enough sleep. And I was extremely tired. But anyway, it's all good now. Um, I mean, all good, um, besides circumstances. Anyway, so I, I am right now, I am in uh, Beijing. I'm in a hotel room because I am on standby for, let me see, a flight at 10.55. Yeah, so I'm in a hotel room in Beijing now. And I will show you the room. It's much, 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 much different than the room I had in uh, Danjai. So it's these two beds. The beds are kind of hard, but uh, you know, it's much better than waiting at the airport in a seat. So at least I can sleep. And then um, this. And then there's a bathroom and a shower so i was wondering why does this room feel so claustrophobic but it is because it has no windows and the only window that they do have here are these for the shower and of course they're all um blacked out so that no one can see you when you're sh taking a shower so this this is my situation now i have to be downstairs at 8 30 a.m right now it is 3.30 a.m. So I'm gonna take a nap, go to sleep. 
um, and hopefully I can get on the KLM flight um, so that I arrive in, at a normal time and can get some sleep in the Netherlands before working again. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to put, to put a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, and leave in the comments down below what you would do in a situation like this. Like if I would not have to work the next day, uh, it would not be such a big issue. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I, there's nothing I can do. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.